Today, I'm gonna walk you through making a custom soap dish from start to finish. We're gonna start with our Sculpey 3. This is our oven bake clay that allows you to make any shape you want, mold it, and then cast it. We'll work the clay for a couple minutes to condition it. This gets rid of any air bubbles and actually ensures the clay is ready for firing. Now I'll lay my bar of soap down on top of this cutting mat. These one inch squares help me quickly measure the size of the base that I'll need. It looks like three inches by five inches is gonna be perfect. Now I learned the hard way that you wanna lay down that tin foil first before you start shaping. That allows you to just move the foil onto the baking sheet later. We're going for three by five. So giving myself a quick reference point with a ruler will help me as I'm rolling out this base. I used an old wooden rolling pin that I have specifically for these types of projects, but you wanna make sure it's gonna be something you're not planning to use for food later. Now it's just rolling out, checking to see how close I am to a three by five rectangle, and then continuing to roll that out until I had the right size. Once I had the size that I needed, I used my ruler and one of our spatula tools to lay down the outline of the base. As for trimming the extra clay, that's where this metal ruler comes in handy. Just take your time, press down evenly, letting the ruler slice through the clay all the way down to the foil. We'll remove the excess and put it to the side to use here in a second. The shape I'm going for has ridges on the top where the soap will sit. So we'll take that extra clay we've cut off and roll out some three and a quarter inch cylinders for this exact purpose. I'm cutting them at three and a quarter inch because I want some buffer on these. You'll see why later. We'll use five in total to fill out the base. Now I'll lay my cylinders to make sure I've got the spacing right before I combine them with the base. The ones on the end, I'll let hang over the edge a little so I have buffer to remove later. Getting things smooth and even takes a while, but it's important. The mold we'll make later will pick up all the details, so take your time and get it as smooth as you want it. To make things look more polished, I'll take that metal ruler and trim down each side with a smooth motion to give myself a flat edge. This is where that extra clay I mentioned before really comes in handy. A quick flattening on top to make sure my soap doesn't slide around and we're ready to fire this in the oven. Since I formed this on top of that foil, all I have to do is slide it onto my baking sheet, pop it into the oven at 275 degrees and let it cook for 15 minutes per quarter inch of material. After 30 minutes of baking, we're ready to make our mold. I'm using our amazing mold putty for this, and a lot of it. I want a strong mold with a good thickness so I can cast a lot of soap dishes with just this one mold. Take out equal amounts of side A and side B, knead them together so it's a nice consistent yellow color, and then roll them into an even ball, pressing it over the clay and making sure all the details are captured. I gently press a flat surface on top to make sure that when I'm pouring this mold later, I have a flat, stable surface. We'll let this sit for 20 minutes and then it's time to demold. Just gently pull the sides away from the clay and it should come right out. Now you've got a perfect mold to cast whatever colors and patterns you want. For this one, I'm using our amazing casting resin. I'll measure out three ounces of side A and three ounces of side B into a mixing container and combine them pretty quickly. Amazing casting resin has a two minute open time, so getting things into our mold within that two minutes is key. As far as color goes, I'll loosely swirl in some black dye here to give us a cool marbling effect on this one. There are endless possibilities though. Experiment and come up with something that fits your room perfectly. After 15 minutes, our soap dish is ready to come out of the mold. Using amazing mold putty means we can make as many styles and designs as we can imagine. You're only limited by your imagination.
We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know and reach out to us. We're always here to help in any way that we can.